I got five long beards on the limb tonight, and all of them are just dying for me to make them go, woo! I know what you're thinking. What does the nature boy have to do with an owl hoot? Well, I'll tell you. It's a thin line between woo and oh. Ah. All right. If you turkey hunt next to a yelp and getting that cadence right on the yelp, probably one of the biggest things you can have is a good owl hoot. First thing in the morning, first thing before they're up on the roost or once they get on the roost, you need to be able to hoot. Now, I've hunted with people who had a tube call and did it very well, but you still got to have the tube. You got to make room in your vest and you're struggling for it on your neck. If you can mount mouth call a good owl hoot, you don't have to have the tube, and it's with you all the time. All right, if on doing the old owl hoot, here's the thing. Number one, you got to practice. Number two, you got to have cadence. All right, everybody knows, of course, I'm southern, so I go with this. It's who cooks for you, who cooks for y'all. We know it's that cadence. All right, but to get the first note, first note, all right, you don't have to cup cans or anything. Take your mouth, your tongue, retract it a little bit, but cup it a little bit. Now, I hesitate to do this video because I feel so goofy doing it, and if it wasn't something I thought was beneficial for everybody, I wouldn't subject myself to this. But, <clears throat> take your tongue, cup it, retract it slightly, and get a, ooh, ooh. That's your first note. If you struggle at all, getting to woo, slow it down even further and just get a woo, woo, kind of like woo, woo, but then a little bit lower woo, and add a little woo on the end of it. Woo, woo, woo. And then you throw in a little more gravelly, open your throat a little more. Woo, and then you can get to that. Again, taking a little from the nature boy, you got to do it with a little swag. You can't come in with hoo, 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 hoo. We're not doing the hoot owl. We're doing the barred owl. So, Ooh. all right, that's your first. Work on it. Open your throat. Pull your tongue back a little bit. Cup it just slightly. Ooh. Alright, once you get that, and it's going to take practice, and it's going to take people cursing you for going around making that noise in your house, your wife's going to cuss you, friends are going to cuss you, but try it. Ooh! Once you get that, that's your first note. You can then move on to... And you can put a little swag on that end note where you hit the hard... The reason I like that one with the mouth call, I can get volume that you cannot get out of most of the store-bought pre-calls. All right, that last note. I can't tell you how many turkeys have popped off to that. So give it a try. Start working on it now. You got plenty of time. Do it in your truck. Do it upstairs when nobody's home or just run your kids and wife nuts with it. But retract the tongue, work by opening your throat, retracting the tongue, slightly cup it until you get that first because it's not too far from to woo. That's why we call it the Nature Boy Owl Call. How do you know if your owl hoot's working? Record it. Put it on your phone, put it whatever, and listen to it back and see if it sounds good. The real litmus test of how good your owl hoot is is go somewhere where you can find real owls when you can start to make the real owls go off and start hooting back to you you're there all right again it's nature boy style you're telling those gobblers you may not be the first one there ain't no way you can be the first one but you can always be the next one and when you're doing it nature boy style, you're telling those hens, shut up, darling, I don't care what you say, you're not coming home with me. 
Isn't that good enough reason to learn Nature Boy style owl calling? I think it is. Give it a try. Hope it works for you this turkey season. We'll see you next time on the Whitetail Cartel.